Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, this year I started off very different. I guess you would say. I decided to go ahead and do a hair tutorial because I am so frequently doing these full dreads on this man. <laughs> no, I'm just like, this is my husband. If you guys don't know, his name is Ruben. Hi. And I decided to go ahead and record the process this time of the full dreads only because I do them so frequently. So I decided that this is probably the easiest method to do it. And I I didn't want, I don't want to say stoled. I used Jasmine Nicole's method with the faux locks and then doing like the crochet method into it. So it's, it was super, super easy. Usually it takes me about two days to do the whole old wrapping with the Marley hair, like two full days. Yeah. This time it only took, it literally only took like, I think eight hours, just about only eight hours to do the entire thing. And the hair that we used is the free tree. The free Tris soft faux lock and we decided to go ahead with the style wavy and he wanted 20 inches because I normally don't do them that long because if I have to wrap all that Marley hair I get I get very anxious so <laughs> the hair that we decided to use because it's probably the most comfortable for him and it's not itchy at all um, is the Cuban twist and I decided to get the 16 inch I probably could have got the 12 inch because I ended up cutting them in half so um, stay tuned to the video because I am going to go ahead and do a talk over of the actual process of me doing it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's not a makeup video, but those are soon to come this year. I'm going to try to do a video every week, but don't hold me to that. I am very busy at work, so I try. I try to record when I can. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to leave your comments down below. And if you guys do the method, please tag me on social media, uh, under Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. It's Freddie MUA. And um, I think Facebook might be Freddie Perez, but I'll put that all down below in the description center. I'll put all the stuff that we used in the description center also. And until next time, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All I have inside of the spray bottle is some Cantu leave-in conditioner with some water, a little bit of glycerin just to go ahead and moisturize the hair. I brush through the hair just to detangle it, and then I start the process of parting the hair. As you can see, his hair is, um, I'd say, about six inches long. So um, it's a really good protective hairstyle if you're trying to grow your hair out and you just get bored with your own hair. Um, he actually really, really loves this these full dreads so I can't I can't blame them they're really really nice and easy to maintain all I have to do is or all I'm doing is I'm box braiding with a three strand braid just a regular plait braid um, about a half an inch through and then as I get to that half inch I'm gonna separate it and just go ahead into a two stand twist it's easier to take down once we're taking all the hair out but it gives us that little security of the crochet actually sticking into the three strand twist so as you can see it's braided and then two strand twist the rest of the way I'm going ahead with a large crochet hook and it's um, the dread I'm gonna go ahead and take the loop here the loop end of it and then I am going to stretch that over my finger just so that it's easy but I'm just showing you that the actual thing just unravels all the way through I place the crochet hook through the braided area and then I just pull it right through the actual braid. As you can see there is no tension on the actual root or on the scalp. I go ahead and I um, grab the braided hair and the actual faux hot, the faux lock, I'm sorry, and I pull it through and then I just tighten up the faux lock nice and snug to the actual scalp it really doesn't hurt it's just nice and um, tight you can actually stop here and just unravel the dread and hide your hair in there but I am NOT gonna do that I'm gonna just take the Cuban twist and wrap the entire um, dread or until his hair is not visible anymore and it's very important that you actually are wrapping the hair instead of twisting it so you just want to constantly hold the dread and the natural hair and just wrap around it.
as you get closer to the end of the hair, which I will show you right there, it's important that you go a little bit past it because we are going to be burning or sealing the ends. As you can see, his hair stops right there. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap a little past that just to make sure that his hair is completely protected. And then I actually split the Cuban twist and I don't necessarily split it half and half. I split or like 75, 25 type of thing, just to make sure that um, I have enough hair to wrap around the little area that I sealed. So as you can see, I split the Cuban twist right there. I actually wrap it a couple more times just so that it's not bulky and it doesn't look weird. And then I tie a knot with the smaller side of the Cuban twist. You can tie it more than once. I actually only tie it once because um, I actually seal it with um, with heat or with a lighter. Now the chunkier side, I go ahead and cut that right off, and then that's what I burned off. That little those little fray hairs that stick out of that, and I will show you that in just a second. That little section I actually burned to seal that into the lock. And then with the remaining hair, I just wrap it right around that little burned area because I don't want it to be like a weird little lump there. And then I actually braid the rest of the Cuban twist going upwards. And then just to seal all those little frizzy hairs, I went ahead and just burned them up and then sealed them into the lock. And that completes the dread. As you can see, it's very seamless. It looks really, really clean, really neat, and it only takes a quarter of the time to do. I hope you guys enjoy it and stay tuned for some more photos. I can't get it. You doing the most? I have the camera ready. You are doing the most. I can't get it. <laughs> so what happens when you want to feature me on your YouTube channel? Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Wait, nope. Yep, yeah, I'm ready. Oh, yep, yeah, go. Okay, whatever. It is what it is. You gotta get in the frame. Uh uh. This is just this. This one over here is just. <laughs> I don't have another scrunchie. Stay over there. <laughs> Bruce, I'm not playing. Go back over there. Okay. Ready? One, two, three.